to my lazy slash sick day routine. Here I was actually sick, so I decided to show you guys what I would usually do on a day like this. So as you see, Sebastian, my little love bug, decides when he's up, everybody's up, and we thought it was time to play, so we play a little bit. And I actually fell asleep watching Sons of Anarchy, and Benny, my fiance, left me on the couch, probably because I'm a Krabby Patty when I wake up out of my sleep. So first things first, I brush my teeth. I have sensitive teeth and weak enamel, so I use Pronamel. Next, I use Cetaphil because I've used this for almost a year now, and it's the only cleanser that I've used that actually keeps me zit or pimple free most of the time. And um, that's just a little sneeze for you guys. Enjoy. Next, I like to tone my face with something natural in the morning, something not so strong, and that was a Dickinson's Witch Hazel Toner, and I put that all over my face. I like to avoid dark circles at all times, so the Olay Regenerous Eye Cream is for morning and night use, and I do use it in the morning and the night. Be careful not to get it in your eyes because it seriously burns. Next, I'm just using L'Oreal Ideal Moisture uh, SPF Moisturizer because it's just what I have in my beauty pantry at the moment, and it was on sale, but usually I use Aveeno. So when we're sick, we don't actually want to look it. So here I'm just going to conceal my dark circles with my favorite MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42 and just blend that out with a little beauty sponge I got at Walmart. My lips were pretty chapped, so I just slapped on some Aquaphor lip balm. And now to make my skin look fresh and new, I go in with my favorite BB cream, with it, which is a physician's formula. BB cream and it, I think it's the darkest shade that they have, pretty sure. Um, and I just slather that all over my face just to kind of even out my skin tone. With this NYX finishing powder, I'm going to quickly go ahead and set my concealer so it doesn't crease and this concealer you do need to set like pronto. For some extra coverage, I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match powder in W4.5 because we need that extra coverage. And it actually makes my skin look pretty much exactly like the same color as my neck and body. And here I'm just using a fluffy Sonia Kashuk brush. With my Rimmel bronzer and sun glow, I'm just gonna warm up my face so I look beautifully sun-kissed, sun-kissed, sun-kissed and fresh-faced. And I'm just using a Real Techniques fluffy brush to do this. Put it on my cheeks, my forehead, my jawline and my neck just so everything looks like it is naturally tan. And I live in Florida, so we pretty much get tans all year round. I don't know why I'm smiling here. It's actually looking kind of weird. Anyway, so I add some bronzer to the top of my nose and I also add some to the center of my eyelids because when you get a tan, you pretty much get tan everywhere. So I want it to look as natural as possible and as fresh as possible. For that healthy glow, I'm gonna add my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the oh so popular Soft and Gentle. Excuse the way my makeup looks, please. There's like hairspray and stuff all over it. Anyway, I'm gonna add it to the common points of our face where you add your highlighter, which is the top of your cheeks. Um, I also add to the arches of my eyebrows, down the middle, down, <laughs> down the middle of my nose and my Cupid's bow. This is gonna give us that healthy glow and not make us look as sick as we feel. I'm also gonna add it to the arches of my whatever eyebrows I have actually, and also the inner corners of my eyes. I filled in my eyebrows off camera because I already have a tutorial up on how I fill in my brows, so I'll link that below if you guys wanna check it out. I'm just gonna set my brows in place with a clear brow gel by e.l.f. that is only a dollar. Seriously, who doesn't love makeup that only costs a dollar? I love a glossy lip, so to keep it natural, I'm gonna use NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee. I actually forgot to record this part, but I did use L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. And um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'm just frustrated with my hair. I didn't know what to do with it. Finally, when my hair and makeup is done, this is when I take Sebastian for a walk because I honestly, I just, I can't 
step outside my door looking a hot mess. I don't want to scare my neighbors, you know what I'm saying? So as you can see, I put my hair in a ponytail because I didn't know what else to do. I threw on some sweatpants and just a t-shirt so I can go walk my little boo-boo here. burning pretty much every time that we're home um, this one is the lavender vanilla scent from Bath and Body Works it smells so good you guys <laughs> if you haven't burned it you need to go and do so and uh, the sleeve is also from Bath and Body Works uh, it's just a little snowflake when you're sick you always want to drink some type of tea um, my daughter actually gave me this mug for Christmas she was so excited for me to open it anyway I'm drinking the Tazo green ginger tea I'm gonna steep it like a hundred gazillion times until my tea or my water is super green it actually looks kind of gross but it tastes good then I add a whole lot of honey like a lot of honey no seriously like a lot of honey um i like my tea super super sweet and the good thing is honey is good for your throat so it's a win-win situation guys then i like to play couch potato for a little while especially because i'm sick and i don't feel good but here is when I reply to comments on YouTube. I will look at stupid, ridiculous, hilarious memes on Instagram, check up on my Facebook, talk to my family and all that. And now it's time to catch up on Sons of Anarchy, because that's my show. I actually just started about two weeks ago and me and my fiance are obsessed. We're actually almost done watching it already, sadly, and there's like, six seasons of it let me know below if you love sons of anarchy too and if you haven't watched it it is a must see and ew <laughs> i guess when you're sick you got to take some type of medicine i hate medicine but benny just reminded me to take it if i want to get better so here goes nothing and i hate the taste so i plug my nose so i don't taste it but then i guess i still tasted it gross <laughs> And that's what I do, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.